Thank you for watching another Gadget Wide production. Now this is a um, um, an iPod, an iPad with iOS 8 on there. Now I'm going to show you how it's connected to uh, just uh, the laptop here, um, running Windows, and um, this is uh, I'm going to show you like the host file here uh, in the C drive. Show you that there's nothing in there. We got no. Uh, special file or anything like that going on in there or any host or IP um, and um, let me just get that for you guys um, and what this demonstration is going to do is it's actually going to go ahead and show you guys how well there you go there is the host file there it is it's empty and and um, now uh, there is my um, iPad right there. It's asking for the activation screen. Clear as day. See that, guys? Double check. All right. There we are. There's our Gadget Wide logo. And um, on this laptop here, um, there is a test version, an internal build of Gadget Wide. And um, this internal build, we just built hours after the release of iOS 8. And here we have video proof of it actually bypassing an iOS device successfully working. Now guys, remember this is an internal build and um, this is nothing but good news for us here. So here we go, watch. So I just uh, turn on Gadget Wide. Now it's going to go ahead and iTunes is going to detect it. Boom, there it is. You see that guys? Done and done. Gadget Wide's running right there. Here is the device now. Um, I'll show you guys that dev the device truly has iOS 8 on there. So let's go ahead and enable location services and uh, set up his new iPad. And we could uh, skip this. Terms and agreement. Okay. I mean, this is exciting, guys, because... Um, the modifications that Apple made recently um, apply to iOS 8 and they put that into the iOS 7 versions of iTunes or the activation service. So we got it, guys. But here, so look, as you can see, it's the new background for iOS 8. Here we go into the control panel. I'm going to show you that there is no iCloud account associated with it anymore. And... Let me go show you the version here. We got nothing in there, guys. It's uh, iOS 8.0. Clear as day. iOS 8.0. That's exciting news for me. It's exciting news for all of us, guys. So, um, I mean, this is it, guys. So, it's fantastic, right? Um, thank you for watching. Thank you.